body has been conceived as the foundation and image of Ahimsa. A real Kadi wearer will not utter an untruth. A real Kadi wearer will harbor no violence, no deceit, no impurity. Gandhi from Mahatma and Volume 4. Those of us who have been involved in nonviolent campaigns, uh, myself definitely included, have often really re regretted our lack of a symbol, a thing, as concrete and as powerful as Kadi. Kadi was the way of breaking the economic stranglehold of the British on the Indians by taking away Indian cotton, shipping it to the mills in Lancashire, manufacturing clothes, and selling them back to the Indians. A grotesquely inefficient and uh, exploitive system. So Kadi was breaking that stranglehold on that level. On another level, it was back down to what he called bread labor because you could have spinning wheels going on, and he did have spinning wheels going on in practically every household in India. Every little uh, village hut could get a tuckli and produce cloth. And then, of course, he took a further step of organizing that whole system on the national level so that the people who harvested the cotton, the people who spun it into yarn, the people who made the cloth out of that yarn, and the people who sold it and distributed it, and the people who wore it were all part of a single system. And unless you have that kind of concreteness, it is very difficult to sense your uh, community, your unity with others. So here's the miracle of Gandhi, whose mind is up in the loftiest levels of idealism on the one hand, and ground in the most basic realities of food, clothing, and shelter on the other hand. What a miracle he was. <laughs> <laughs>